Hey friends, it's Cherie, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the items that I sewed this weekend. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. Over this weekend, I managed to sew six garments. That is insane. I normally only get a chance to sew one or two items in a weekend, but I actually burned the midnight oil and I sewed all Friday night from 9 p.m. until about 2.30 in the morning. And then on Saturday, I sewed all day long. That was a lot of sewing and I'm happy with the things that I made. However, there is one fail, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. The patterns that I'll be sharing with you have been sewn up on my channel before in the past, sewn up in very different fabrics, and they look so different from my first versions of the actual patterns that I sewed up last year, I believe. So I'm really excited to share them with you. For this video, I am collaborating with Miss Blue, which is a fine jewelry company, and I'm really excited to share with you the items that they sent me. I used these items to style up with my garments that I made. So let's get into that first, and then we'll walk through all the things that I made. They came in a box that also included a gorgeous gift bag. So it's perfect for gifting if you are looking to come up with a unique item to purchase for your loved ones for this holiday season. I highly encourage that you check them out. And each jewelry item came in a jewelry box that is blue also, just like the bag. And this says Miss Blue Fine Jewelry on the outside. But inside this box is another box and it's the actual box that you use to store your jewelry. It's absolutely beautiful. I think that the box itself is a work of art, but it is a white box and it has this black line around the edge and it's just so gorgeous. I've actually never seen a jewelry box that looks quite like this before. I love it. It's actually pretty sturdy, perfect for traveling with, and I just think it's so nice. The ring that I selected is a moissanite ring and I'm actually gonna pull up my phone so that I can share with you the information about this particular ring. This is a 5.4 karat shared prong round moissanite eternity band and it is actually a gold ring now they have several different options for their jewelry you can do white gold you can do yellow gold you can do rose gold and you can do platinum and they have several different ring sizes i personally got a size seven and a half that's what my finger is now i did get it to match my ring finger that i actually wear my wedding ring. When I travel, I do travel with my moissanite diamonds over my regular diamond, just in case something happens on my trip. But it's absolutely stunning, and I've never had a situation in which someone was wondering whether or not my diamonds were diamonds. They sparkle in the light just like my other diamonds. They're absolutely beautiful, and I actually feel really proud to wear my moissanite jewelry out and about. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I picked this up and it goes so lovely with my earrings here that I wear pretty much every day, as well as this necklace that I wear every day. And I just love the way it sparkles in the light. It's so stunning. And I can definitely see myself wearing this every day. It's just so pretty and it just feels so nice on. And of course, I'm going to wear it throughout the rest of this video. The next jewelry item that I picked is a necklace. And this one was actually customized just for me. And it also came in a jewelry box. This jewelry box is slightly different. It is just a blue jewelry box. And when you open it up, it is a name necklace. I'll come in close so that you can see that it says Cherie in Moissanite. And this necklace is the personalized Moissanite script name necklace. I love it so much. This one also comes in either white gold or 14 karat gold. Now I selected the 14 karat gold and I love it. It goes so nicely with the jewelry that I already wear on a daily basis. Let me show you what it looks like stacked with the necklace that I wear every day. 
They just look so stunning together and I'm obsessed. I've always wanted to replace my nameplate necklace that was actually stolen when I was a teenager and I just hadn't gotten around to doing that. So now I have one that is actually a step above what I had before because the name Cherie is encrusted in moissanite gemstones. I absolutely love the items that were sent to me. They are going to be staples in my wardrobe and I'm just really pleased with how the quality is of these moissanite gemstones. Again, I highly encourage you to check out their holiday sales and make sure that you use the discount code in the information section below to save yourself some money on your order for your fine jewelry. Let's talk about the items that I sewed up this weekend. I wanted to sew up some loungewear, not just some lazy loungewear, but I wanted loungewear that I felt like I could actually dress up and go out in the world and feel really put together. And so I saw a bunch of sets you know, online that I thought were absolutely stunning and I definitely wanted to purchase them. However, they were very expensive and your girl has a whole fabric store in her house. So I definitely didn't want to spend $200 or more on the sets that I had been window shopping. So I went in my pattern stash and I discovered that I had this pattern that I purchased and I just keep forgetting to sew it up. I don't know why. It is a new look pattern in 6709. This is what it looks like and it comes with two different views. There is a pant view and there is a skirt view. Now this is a pattern that is meant to be made out of Jersey, cotton lycra blends, ITY, stretch velvet. So anything that's really stretchy and that you can sew with an overlocker or a serger. I personally use both my sewing machine and my serger to complete these projects. I just think it looks nicer that way. And I made view A, which is the pants. And because I was really drawn to these particular pants on the pattern cover, when I bought this pattern, I actually purchased fabric that I thought might be the same or similar. And so for my first set, I did use this gorgeous fabric that is very similar in color. Hopefully you can see that. And I think they turned out fantastic. Now I don't remember the fabric content for this guy, um, I do know that I purchased it probably about two years ago. It's really stunning. It's kind of spongy. I'll show you what the inside looks like, but it's very stretchy in all four directions. Um, but the back is kind of shiny, um, but you can kind of just see how bouncy and stretchy it is. And then the outside is more of a matte finish so gorgeous now i will say that i made a size 16 and it is a little big but it's actually comfortable and right now i'm in kind of a weight fluctuation situation so making the size that i made just worked out really nicely for me generally with pants i tend to grade between sizes so i'll do like a 16 waist and then grade to a 14 in the legs and so i didn't do that this time around. I made a straight 16 and I think it worked out really, really nicely. Now to pair with these pants to create my set, I reached into my pattern stash and I went back to a pattern that I received in Indie Stitch. As you know, I have been a subscriber to Indie Stitch for a couple of years now. I love that monthly subscription service but they often send me patterns that I would never have known about if it wasn't for them. And one of the ones that they sent me that I now love is the Sonia Estep Designs little sweatshirt here. This is the Emma sweatshirt. And so I had already sewn up and shared in a previous video the uh, version that has these bishop sleeves here on the cover. If I can find a photo of the one that I shared before, I'll insert it. But this time around, I wanted to try a different view. And so for this, I tried the straight sleeve view that has the thumb holes. I've never actually made a sweatshirt that has thumb holes before. So this was actually a new experience for me. And this is what the sweatshirt looks like. Again, it is a very similar fabric to the pants in that it is very spongy and stretchy in four directions. This fabric is kind of cooling to the skin. I actually don't know what the content of this guy is. It was a remnant piece that was on sale at Joanne. It was less than a yard and I was able to make this cropped sweatshirt. Now, because I do have a short torso, I can make a cropped sweatshirt and it'll stop 
pretty much at the top of my pants just about with every pattern company so this one was no exception it definitely stopped at the top of my pants and it was perfect i love this sweatshirt so much and i think it's going to look so good with other items in my closet and i love that because it's cropped it can be layered with different things like dresses and jumpsuits that i love wearing it is so cozy and comfortable and soft and i absolutely love the way it turned out one thing that i did with almost all of these garments i believe is that i used a straight stitch instead of using a zigzag stitch i've always been afraid to do that with my knits because i was afraid that i would pop stitches <laughs> when they stretch or move but i find that when i do a straight stitch on certain areas of knit fabrics it prevents the the stitches from being wavy so even after you press some knit projects if you've used a zigzag stitch i find that it is a bit wavy so for a lot of the seams on this guy that i knew wouldn't be pulled and stretched too often i did use a straight stitch and then i used my serger to finish off all the edges i love the way this sweatshirt came out and i just think that it's perfect for my wardrobe and one thing that i did that i had never done before is i actually created thumb holes in the sweatshirt in order to keep my hands warm so you'll notice in the photos that the, the arms on this sweatshirt seem to be pretty long and that is because there is a thumb hole portion in the sweatshirt so i really love the way this turned out i think because of the fabric and the way it looks the texture of it i just think that it looks so much nicer than like your typical sweatsuit and it is an outfit that i can throw on and still feel re really very cute it's perfect for work and it's also perfect for my regular weekend errands and things of that nature so i do want to say that now both of these patterns are going to be staples in my wardrobe i love the way they both came out i chose to style this outfit by pairing it not only with this gorgeous jewelry that i received from miss blue but also with my coach bucket bag as well as my platform converse high top sneakers i think this is just the perfect look for me but i also could see myself pairing this outfit with some loafers or even with some boots to dress it up a bit even keeping the same purse i'd still get a nicer dressed up vibe with this outfit Fit, and I'm really pleased with the outcome and I think that it, the styling was perfect for how I would probably wear it on any given day. So moving on, because I loved the way this set turned out so much, I had to go into my fabric stash and see what I had in the sweater variety. Now, because it's fall, it's autumn, we're approaching Halloween, Thanksgiving is around the corner. I'm definitely drawn to all of those really wonderful fall colors. So pretty much all the fall colors, red, brown, tan, orange, all those fall colors that come to mind when you think of fall. And I remembered that I had this gorgeous sweater knit fabric in my stash. When I purchased this fabric, I knew it was going to be a two-piece. I just didn't know which patterns that I would want to use. So again, I made another version of this new look pattern out of this gorgeous, gorgeous sweater fabric that I got from Joanne. It is cable knit. It's very soft and it's very weighty and cozy. Now for this version, I chose not to do the waist ties that are on the other version. And I just think it looks better. I also think that because this sweater knit fabric is a bit weighty, that those ties would droop and make the waistband of my pants kind of sag. And I definitely didn't want that look. So I went ahead and omitted it. And I just love the way these came out. It definitely looks similar to some of the loungewear that I had seen online. And I've just always wanted a sweater knit two-piece outfit to wear. I just think it looks so good and it feels good on the body. I could see myself wearing this for work or like I said before on the weekend. And I could absolutely pair this with other things in my wardrobe that would elevate it even more but I did have just enough fabric left over to do a short sleeve version of this sweatshirt again. And if you look at the two versions of the sweatshirts that I created, they look totally different. You'd never know that they came from the same pattern and I really love that. So for the black version or charcoal gray version that I shared with you already, I chose not to do top stitching around the neckband, but for the sweater knit version, I used a larger twin needle to create this double line around the neckline. And I think that looks really, really nice. 
And for this version, I made it short sleeve. Now there isn't a short sleeve option in this pattern. I just chose to shorten it because I didn't have enough fabric to make a full length sleeve. So just doing the short sleeve version actually is kind of perfect for me in my wardrobe because I feel like it'll allow me to have a little ventilation because this is a heavier sweater knit fabric. So not having a full length sleeve will allow me to get some air. And I think that that actually works out really nicely. So. Anyway, this set was perfect for me. I've always wanted a sweater two-piece set. It's stunning, it's comfortable, it's everything I wanted it to be. I can definitely see myself buying another cut of sweater knit fabric to make another two-piece set because I love this one so much. These two patterns are very easy and if you are a beginner sewist, I definitely think that you can whip these up. These next two patterns are actually more complicated. We have the Pattern Emporium Grab a Cup of Cardi, which has six different views. I chose to make the cropped version that has long bishop sleeves and I really love the way it turned out. This again is a pattern that I've sewn up before in the past and this is the absolutely stunning striped sweater waffle knit that I got in my most recent indie stitch unboxing and I love it so much. It is lightweight, it is soft, it is cozy, it's perfect for layering over other items in my wardrobe. However, because it's not terribly cold here yet, I was able to wear this cardigan as a shirt and I really love wearing it that way. And so I made this gorgeous cardigan which is perfect for me right now. It has all those amazing fall colors. I paired that with the Megan Nielsen ash jeans and now I've sewn this up before and the last time I sewed it up I sewed it up in black stretch denim the denim that I sewed it out of was super stretchy in four directions and this time around I use a corduroy fabric this is a stretch fabric however I will say it does not have as much stretch as the denim the denim stretched in four directions this particular fabric only stretched in two directions. So when it came to cutting the waistband, which is cut on a curve, it didn't have as much stretch. So that is why I struggled with the waistband. It went in easy enough, but as you can see, there's a bit of wrinkling in the front and it's perfect in the back. Now, what this meant as far as fit goes is that the waistband is a bit snug on my waist. So I definitely will have to lose a little weight to be able to fit these super comfortably in the waist from the jump. I also think that they'll loosen up over time as I wear them. Everywhere on my body, they fit snug and comfortable and probably the way they're supposed to fit, except for in the waistband, which is okay. I do like the way they came out. I think they look really nice. The back of them looks really nice. The front looks pretty good. I'm just not happy with the waistband. And if you can see, there is kind of like wavy, wrinkly um, areas. And also the where the button is positioned. I just think it's not my best work, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I don't ever plan on wearing anything that's too short that's gonna show that. So really, I'm just going to either have to wear some Spanx or like one of those really great tank tops that suck you in underneath when I'm wearing these pants so that it is easier to button and a little bit more comfortable to wear in the day until I lose a little belly fat, okay? <laughs> so I paired these pants with the cardigan that I made. That was such a great pairing. And for this outfit, I believe I paired it with my platform Converse sneakers that are in this really beautiful moss green color. It's about the same color as the green in the cardigan. And I think I forgot to mention that in the sweater two piece, I paired it with some Air Jordans or some Air Maxes that are gold and that was also really nice. I do like the way this outfit turned out. I'm just wishing that the waistband was more comfortable. But those are the items that I sewed up and I did have some fabric left over from that waffle knit and so rather than trying to squeeze another garment out of it, I actually thought this might be a really great shawl to wear in the classroom. Sometimes during nap time when I'm not moving around as much and I'm just holding a baby, I get a little cold. So to have something like this folded up and close by that I can throw over my shoulders is just going to be so nice. I think it's really beautiful and cozy and I just went ahead and used my serger to finish off all the raw edges so that there wouldn't be any snagging or pulling. And it's just like the perfect length and width 
in order to keep me warm if I get a little chilly in the classroom. So those are all the things that I made this weekend. To me, it was a lot of garments. Um, all of them came out really nice and I'm proud of myself. Will I sew that many garments in a weekend again? I'm going to say not anytime soon. <laughs> Now, I mentioned in a previous video that I was considering starting a book YouTube channel and I have done so. The first video has posted. I'm going to ask you to please show me some love and head over to that channel, subscribe and watch my first video if you are interested in what I'm reading or if you are a person that is interested in bookish content because I will be posting it over there. Um, this is kind of like me testing out the waters to see if it makes sense to have a second YouTube channel. If it turns out that it doesn't make sense, maybe I'll share that content here on this channel. I just didn't want to confuse my viewers. So if you're interested in what I'm reading, please do subscribe to that channel. The link will be below as well as watch my first video and give me a thumbs up. And I want you to make sure that you head over to Miss Blue. The link for Miss Blue will be in the information section of this video. Head over there, check out the fine jewelry that they have on their website from engagement rings to necklaces to earrings, they have it all. Check out what they have and also keep in mind that they will be having some amazing holiday sales, Black Friday, in gearing up for Christmas, they'll have lots of sales and I definitely think you should check them out. I also have a discount code that will save you some money on your purchase. It is not an affiliate link. It is just to save you some money. That will also be linked in the information section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and a wonderful week. Talk to you soon. Bye.